Hey, Virgo. How you doing? You all right? I'm doing good, too. Thank you very much. I'm Alex. Hi. I'm here to bring you your weekly tarot reading. Let's see what the universe has for you, Virgo. Ooh, Queen of Cups. Mm, come on. Let's bless Virgo with some pretty amazing news. Okay, good. All right, good. All right, yeah, yeah. Ten of Pentacles. Virgo ain't gonna turn that down. Virgo gonna be like, yes, please. Yes, mother, may I? That's the first time I'm pulling these cards out today. <sighs> Somebody's in their emotions, feeling very loving, very emotionally supportive. Um, I'm hearing, but for how long? Oh, I feel like this was somebody who you might have met or you just was, yeah, look at that. Good Lord. All right. But you got new love coming in. Lord Virgo, can y'all stop having so many options? You got the queen. You got two kings. And you got two pages. Okay. If that don't say options, I don't speak English. Okay. <sighs> You're looking for love. You want to be in love. You want to be in a relationship. Um, angels are also saying you do have that one true love. And I feel like, yeah, you're looking for your divine counterpart. I'm also hearing you ain't taking no shit. Okay. Um, I feel like you tend to attract very deceitful and dishonest people. People who are openly looking to take advantage of you. To come in, to appeal to your emotions, to tell you what it is that you want to hear and, you know, kind of give you minimal love and, you know, not really genuinely feel for you. But, you know, to an extent, it's, it's almost like they kind of, quote unquote, butter you up to get what they want. But hold on, Virgo, because you have the Ten of Pentacles in the world card. Um, and then you have the King of Cups and Page of Cups. Okay. So I do feel like you have a Cancer Spi Pisces or Taurus, excuse me, Cancer Pisces or Scorpio. I say Cancer Spices. <laughs> I can't. Oh, Cancer Pisces or Taurus, excuse me, Scorpio. I said, damn Mercury. Can y'all get Mercury, please? Um, you do have a water sign that's coming in and who wants to give you love. <clears throat> this person could be younger than you significantly but I do kind of feel like they're a good option for you you're not even considering them Virgo by the way you're like mm -mm, you're way too young for me but I do kind of feel like this person is coming with some really 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 significant love that could technically change your life not only that but um start this beautiful new scene you know what? Angels just said to me, it's almost like this is the gift that keeps on giving. So you may be kind of quote unquote looking down at this person like little, little baby. You can't love me. Go on home to your mama. And the little baby's like, yeah, but you know, it, yeah, angels are showing me um, how Stella got a groove back with Tay Diggs. Mm, mm. <laughs> hey, focus, Alex. Get back into this reading. I feel like it is that kind of situation where the age difference between you guys is like ridiculous. And by ridiculous, I mean, mean like 15, 20 years. You're like, listen, I was in college by the time you were born, right? Is that ridiculous? And again, the, the four of cups, you're not, you're so not emotional about this person. But here's the thing. I do kind of feel like they're going to be persistent as hell. You know what I mean? There, This is two storylines, by the way, and this is the second storyline because I'm reading from this side to this side. But this person is coming in and I kind of feel like their communication game is strong, okay? But yeah, because you've been hurt so much in the past, you've had people take advantage of you and try to come in and act like they're coming in for one thing when they're really coming in for another. Virgo, you are hella defensive right now. And this ain't even your energy, babies right? 
this is more your energy than sword energy. But here's the thing. I do kind of feel like once this, this I feel like whomever this is, they're going to be consistent as fuck. Okay. And that's really what's going to grab your attention is the fact that they, they, they pass the deceitful test as in they pass the seven week mark. Okay. Or the seven month mark and they're still around you. And then the second thing is, um, they've had opportunity after opportunity after opportunity to take it to take advantage of you but they have not okay so to an extent this person could fly by or fly what is the term could pass with flying colors through your defense system and you may wind up giving them that rose virgo i never watched the bachelor or bachelorette i just heard about it or heard about the rose thing um, but I do kind of feel like this um, King of Swords, it's almost like this person is mentally mature, emotionally immature, and, and I might be okay with that, right? I may be okay with a kind, loving, naive, unexperienced heart, but a very seasoned mind, right? Um, and again, this person is not your choice. I can tell you right now, Virgo, you do not want them. You're like shoe baby. Go go on back home to your mama. Okay, this this grown folk. <laughs> Virgo. <laughs> um, but I do kind of feel like this person is gonna get through your defenses. Not only that, but here's the thing, right? You got the Queen of Cups and King of Cups. I said in the beginning, you guys are looking for your divine counter. You just never considered that, yeah, this person could technically start out as the page and grow into the king. As in they could maybe be young in age and then like uh, Hugh Jackman and his wife, I think there's like a 20 year difference or something like that or 10, 15, whatever it is. And they are just more in love than any probably and, and have been married for a long time. So Virgo, don't count out the age difference. Now, they have to be legal, okay? Um, now, if you 60 and they 20, you know, I'm sorry, judgment, right? But, you know, at the end of the day, do you, right? Do you. And if it works for you, it works for you. But I do kind of feel like whomever this is, they're coming through. They're very mature and they're going to cut through all of your doubts. And, you know, um, you may feel, yeah, because you're, you know, younger, you have options. Or don't you want to sow some wild oats? And this person's like, listen, the only wild oat I want to sow is you, Virgo. Okay, listen, do not get Alex started on this video, okay? You only have one major arcana here, which is Capricorn. Capricorn is ruled by Saturn. Saturn is a taskmaster planet and the planet of karma. So that says to me, Virgo, listen, you have one strong uh, spirit message here on the table and it's just like, listen, Go with the flow. As much as you are trying to dis disregard this connection, Saturn is gonna Saturn is a planet of discipline. Okay. Saturn is going to force you to learn this lesson. So I do kind of feel there's a strong message here for you, Virgo, in saying, listen, we get it. It makes no fucking sense. We get it, trust me. But you still gotta do it. You still got to go through it. You see what I mean? So just be open. Just try to be open and just try to go with the flow. I just noticed that there's a king, queen of swords and king of swords. So I do kind of feel like, yeah, maybe intellectually, you guys are a perfect match. Emotionally, you are a perfect match. What's not the match again is could uh, the age difference, right? It could just be the age difference. Or it's that they're overly emotional, which I can't even imagine for you, Virgo, because you guys tend to be uh, emotional yourselves. Or maybe this person is not emotional, especially with the King of Swords here. Angels are also saying to me, too, you guys could be have a bit of a yo-yo, as in you love each other and then you hate each other. Right? It could be on and get off again. If that's the dynamic of your relationship, so shall it be. In the near future, this card has been coming up all afternoon. So that kind of says to me, by October or November, you're going to know this person's true colors. Not only that, but here's a weird uh, correlation. 
That seven of cup, seven of cups, angels just said to me represents all colors of the rainbow, which kind of says to me that yeah, this person could be all colors of you or you know, the seven chakras, and, you know, as in the perfect match or in alignment with you, Virgo. Improving health. Improving health for me means um, mental health. It also means healing as well. Maybe this person is coming in to heal your heart and show you that good people still exist and true love still exists, even though, again, it may be coming in a much younger or much older package. Ask your angels. If you don't believe in Alex, if you don't give a shit about this video, I get it. It would sound pretty wonky to me as well, but, it, you know, ask your angels. Ask for universal guidance. Look at that a year from now. Angels have given you two timelines in the near future and a year from now. So I kind of feel like, again, those are those are messages and saying, baby, you going to go with this flow, anime. <laughs> All right, Virgo, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. If the reading does resonate, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you're interested in a personal reading, my contact details are in the about section of my channel. I love you, Virgo. Bye.